Who doesn't love avocados? Unlike any other fruit, and yes, avocados are fruits, these things have an incredibly distinct, creamy texture and brilliant flavor that make for a ridiculously perfect dip. On top of that, avocados are a noted superfood with a number of fantastic health benefits. Well folks, today we've mashed up something good for you, some ripe avocado chemistry, and some tips from the pros for the casual avocado connoisseur. Inside this little fruit is a wealth of health benefits. It's high in fiber, has double the potassium content of one of these, it's loaded with vitamin B12 and vitamin E, it has high concentrations of monosaturated fatty acids, it contains valuable cancer-battling antioxidants, and has fats inside that help us absorb more nutrients from other foods. I mean, the works. On top of the benefits inside, the thick skin on the outside protects the flesh of the fruit from any residual pesticides, making avocados pretty darn safe to eat. Another big plus is that inside the flesh are 11 different carotenoids, which are a healthy type of phytochemical. These things help fight against certain kinds of cancer and even heart disease. The highest concentration of these compounds can be found right here in the dark green portion just beneath the skin. For this reason, there's a proper way to cut and peel your avocado for maximum health benefit. Step 1. Cut vertically all the way around the pit of the avocado. Step 2. Twist both sides to separate. Step 3. Remove the pit from one half by hacking it with a knife and twist like so. Step 4. Cut your two halves into four quarters. Step 5. Instead of digging in with a spoon, peel the skin from the flesh and it'll come off nice and smoothly. The rougher looking portion on the outside that touched the skin is the incredibly healthy stuff. Most of the time, if you're going through these steps, you're in the mood for some guac. Any seasoned veteran in dip making knows that this stuff browns pretty quickly. This is due to compounds in the fruit called phenols. When exposed to oxygen, these phenols will convert into another class of compounds called quinones. Over time, quinones link together, forming a pigment called melanin, the same stuff that gives human skin its color. And if you've ever thought avocado flesh browns way faster than other fruits, you're not wrong. Avocados carry a boatload of an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase that speeds up this whole pigment production process. So how do you stop your guacamole from browning? Here's some quick tips. First, every good guac recipe should include some lime. The acids in lime juice actually slow down that enzyme from speeding up the browning. And after you've had your fill of dip, you can take some saran wrap and press it right up against your guac. The less air pockets, the better. Another interesting trick is that if you've made a thick dip and have a good amount left over, you can cover it with a layer of water and put it in the fridge. When you're ready for more dip, dump the excess water out and stir it up. These two methods keep our main browning culprit, oxygen, away from your dip. So get dipping, folks. This is one nutritional powerhouse food that you don't want to miss out on. And if you like this video, make sure to check out this one about the chemistry of sriracha, and then also this one about garlic breath. Special thanks to Compound Interest for hooking us up with this awesome avocado chemistry infographic. A link to that can be found in the video description down below. Have ideas for other tasty food chemistry videos? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, folks. Hit subscribe on the way out, and we'll see you again very soon.